So what's up guys, today I'm going to teach you how to recreate the donut from the Blender Guru donut tutorial, but not in Blender 2.8, we're going to do it in Blender 1.8, so a very old Blender and I struggled a lot actually getting anything to work uh, inside of that Blender. So we're going to jump right into it, but before we jump into it, at the end of the video I'm going to announce the winner of the 970 GTX, so stay till the end, don't miss it, and let's hop right into Blender. So we're inside Blender, first we're going to delete the default plane, not the default cube, then we're going to add a cylinder, we're going to reset the origins of the, or not the origins, the locations and rotations of the cylinder by using Alt G Alt R. So we're going to go into edit mode, we're going to extrude the cylinder, we're going to scale down the outer side of the cylinder, uh, we're going to go back to object mode, we're going to turn on subdivision surface under the modifiers tab. And now you can notice that the normals are flipped on the inside of our donut. By the way, I use the cylinder instead of a donut since there is no default torus shape in the newest version of Blender for some reason. So now we've got a nice donut. I'm going to scale it down, we're going to move it up a little bit. Uh, moving up is a bit complicated. They deleted GZ, so you have to use G, third mouse click, and swipe up, and it kind of almost never works. So now we're just gonna add a cylinder, a second cylinder. This is going to be our plate. So delete the top face and we're gonna scale up the top loop and then scale the whole thing down or move it down until it looks like a plate. Then we're just gonna move it up under the donut, scale it up, move it up once again using the third mouse click and swipe up. Now we're gonna extrude also third mouse button and swipe up. Now we're gonna use subsurface division in the modifier tab once again, move the plate down, and now we already have a donut on a plate. So instead of moving the donut, I moved the plate because it was kind of complicated to select the correct object. Next, I'm going to create these particles on the donut, so little sugar things. So we're going to start with a cube. We're going to subdivide the cube once again in the modifier tab. We're going to extrude it up. For some reason, when you just extrude, it flips the normal, so flip the normal once again. Once it's flipped, it kind of looks like this sugary thing. So now we're just gonna use the non-existent particle system um, and add it to the donut. So we're just gonna shift D every single particle without any snapping or magnets or anything um, around the donut. A few moments later. So once you did that, you've got a lot of particles, manual place particles on your donut. So we're gonna add a camera. We're gonna move the camera until it kind of looks good. I'm just moving it with the standard keys, G and R. So I'm just zooming out. I have no idea where to set the focal length. So once you have that, we're gonna add one light and render on F12. So it already looks very realistic. Once you have one light, two lights are always better. And that's why I'm even making three because the more lights, the better. So now we're just gonna download a wood texture for our wood plane or our table, basically. We're gonna import it by clicking it everywhere and using different keys while clicking until it suddenly imports and then add it to the material. And as you can see, we've got a nice wood table. So now next we're gonna just look for a donut texture. The easiest way to get a donut texture is just stealing it. So we're just gonna go over to uh, Joe Soto's profile and steal his hand-painted donut texture. Import it once again by clicking and holding all different kinds of keys. Once it's imported, add it to the donut. So next we're gonna hop over to the material tab into our principal shader. We're gonna change the hardness instead of the roughness until it never go to zero, otherwise everything breaks. Once it looks good, we're also gonna tweak the other settings. I'm turning down the RGB a little bit and I'm deleting basically the specular so we've got this rough look. Next, we're gonna change the UVs by clicking every option we have until it looks correct. So let's click through. I tried finding a rotation for UVs, I couldn't, so I just kept clicking. So this looks good, this looks exactly the same. So we're just gonna choose one of these two UV mapping projections. Next, we're gonna color the little particles. So we're gonna take one, uh, color it, and then select all and control L. We can um, merge all the materials to all the objects. So now I'm making a second one, I'm making it pink. And the same, so I'm just clicking random particles here and then control L until you can yeah, apply this material to the rest. And a few moments later, once you've repeated that process a few times, you have some different colored particles. So it actually doesn't look too bad, better than I expected, to be honest. And if you render, it already looks 
very photorealistic in my opinion. And now I'm just playing around with the HDR setting. So playing around with exposure. For some reason, if you turn it down, it also turns down the lights. So I guess it's a master slider for light strength. Now I'm just changing our HDR color, our uh, realistic physical base sky until it looks good. Now I'm changing the resolution. You can't type it in for some reason. So just swipe right until we've got like a normal resolution and press F12 and there you have it, a photorealistic donut in five minutes. So uh, I hope you liked this video. I thought it was like pretty fun, like uh, working in the old blender again. I can also recommend you getting the old blender. It's fun seeing where blender started out. Uh, and also as mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna announce who won the GTX 970. So first we're just gonna hop onto the rat tatted video. So as you can remember, the video had zero views, zero dislikes, zero likes, zero subscribers and zero comments and uh yeah so nothing there so now he has 171 subscribers he has 276 comments he has 223 likes i read through <laughs> every single comment um you should also probably read through the comments they're super interesting i thought about making a video where i read all comments but there's just so many <laughs> so i thought i'll keep it short um read through them if you want uh i read through them and most are super duper nice. So it was very, very hard to decide on who wins this graphics card. And I was just struggling on who to choose. It really wasn't easy. But then I chose... Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! It's... Izat2327. Because on my video, he basically commented that he kind of wants a GTX because he just wants to have it in his hands and have a part of my history in his hands, uh, which I thought was very interesting. And also on the video of Rat Had It, he almost has the most liked comment. I think the second most liked comment. So I thought that's a good choice, especially a lot of comments uh, even mentioned that they don't need the GTX and that they really just want to comment something nice. So it was really hard to find someone that will appreciate the graphics card, but I think I did the right choice and I hope I did the right choice. Uh, so Isaac, just message me on Discord and we'll just find a way on how you'll get this graphics card. I hope you don't live too far away, <laughs> otherwise the shipping cost is gonna be very expensive. Um, otherwise, I haven't thanked my Patreons for quite some time and actually also just once in all of my videos and I think it's really time because actually there are more and more people supporting uh, me on Patreon, which is super nice. Um, so thanks to Chris, my newest uh, Patreon. Once again, thanks to Sheldon. Once again, thanks to Vitalik, maybe? Um, I don't speak any Russian. Uh, thanks to Server... Severin, I can probably also pronounce it completely wrong. Thanks to Dougie, thanks to Alan, thanks to Super Depressed, wait, it's cut off. I don't know what the full name is, let's call him Super. Uh, thanks to Vladimir, I guess, maybe. Uh, thanks to Brandon, thanks to Nick, of course. Uh, Nick is one of my first uh, patrons. Uh, thanks to Paravan, also one of my first patrons. Thanks to Prince Alfie, one of my uh, highest paying and also first patrons. So thanks a lot, Prince Alfie, that you stayed this long. Uh, thanks to Seifu and thanks to Julian. So uh, yeah, this whole GTX uh, thing was crazy. Uh, this was the first time in all my videos like that we did something non-Blender related and we just uh, supported a starting YouTuber. And I thought it was really interesting to see um, what power this channel can have already in a small scale. And actually I'm really excited about what's gonna come next year and how this whole thing is gonna develop. I think this channel will be way more than Blender tutorials in the future. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Like once the Patreons grow, once the following grows, I think together we can really do some big stuff. I don't know what yet, but I think some pretty interesting and cool stuff. So I'm very excited about next year. Uh, sadly, I'm probably not going to reach the 10k subscriber mark this year, but it doesn't really matter because um, yeah, it's not just about the number. It's about everything that we like um, achieved this year and kind of like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know the German word, wait, uh, experience, everything we experienced uh, this year. Uh, so yeah, it was super fun. So uh, Merry Christmas. I hope I gave you some presents. I gave Red Hatted some subscribers as a present. I'm giving one of you guys a GTX as a present. And I hope you all had fun like watching my videos as a present. <laughs> so uh, probably see you again this year, but I'm not sure when I'll make a video. Let's see, maybe it's the last video of this year, probably not. So see you soon guys and Merry Christmas.